Hello and welcome to this photo speed video with me, Tim Jones. Today what we're going to be looking at is something I've been again meaning to do for a long time and that is print panoramic using a roll on the Pro 1000. Now I've been sent a roll of 12 inch paper from the warehouse, just some matte paper to just give this a try. Now you can print up to 17 inches wide and up to 1.2 meters in length. It is quite a long print you can produce off the Pro 1000. Now the downside is it doesn't have a roll holder on it. Now you do have to be a little bit careful on how you load this paper into the printer. So I'm gonna show you a little trick I do that makes things a little bit easier to load it. But also I'm gonna be creating quite a long print. If we think this is 12 inches and we're gonna create that 48 inch print as well at 1.2 meters roughly, then we're gonna create some pretty striking prints as well. So the image has to be important as well. And as always, I quite like to push ideas and how we think about photography really. So printing in this format can actually create some quite different prints and some different ways of looking at images. So we'll have a look in Lightroom of how we set up this kind of paper as well. And it's really simple actually. It's just the same as printing on our normal panoramic papers effectively. We just set up a custom paper size and then we do have to or I should say the easiest way is to actually cut the paper from the roll to the length we need. Now I like to cut a little bit more than needed, so it just eases things as it goes through the printer. Okay, so let's get started. But before we do, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. As always, please just click that subscribe button and also the thumbs up as well. And also, Please, if you're looking for some paper, please don't forget to use the voucher code FSYouTube15, which will give you 15% off Photospeed papers from photospeed.com. Okay, let's dive into Lightroom and I'll just show you how I set this page up within Lightroom. You can do this in Photoshop or Capture One as well. Same kind of process, but just dive in and we'll have a look at how we get that set up. Okay, so currently I'm just in the print module of Lightroom here and I have this picture set up here for an A4 sheet with a two centimeter margin around the outside there. So first of all though, I'd quite like to just do some edits on this. I wanna turn this to black and white. So I'm gonna go into my develop module and I'm gonna turn it to black and white. And I'm gonna up the contrast a bit. And then also I'm just gonna bring in just take those gamut warnings off so it's blocking a little bit there. I'm just going to bring it up these, just these details in here a little bit for myself, just so we make it nice and contrasty. I'm just going to put the white back in a little bit and the exposure up a bit. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to print this one and I'm going to print it nice and long. So actually we're going to lose these sides here. So what I want to do is I'm going to go into the print module and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my page setup and I'm going to create a custom paper size in here. So I'm just going to go down to manage custom sizes. So I'm going to create a new size just by clicking on the plus down here. Then in the printable area, I'm going to define the Pro 1000. Now the width of my paper is 308.4 millimeters and my height is going to be the maximum which is 1200 millimeters so this is going to give me my height and that length shall we say now on the pro 1000 we're going to have printable margins here so let's just make them all even which is going to be the biggest which is five mil so i'm going to apply those because you won't be able to print borderless on this so then all I need to do is just click OK and then OK again. Now when I've clicked OK, it has allowed me to see my page here. Now let's make the cell size absolutely the maximum that we're going to be. 
which is there. And we're going to put a two centimeter border all around the outside. So we're just going to then see a little slit in there of the picture. What I might do is I might just bring this border down a little bit and the cell size up so we can see a little bit more there, just so we can frame things a little bit better. And it's just going to be this slit of the image here. Now we will want zoom to fill on, so we're going to fill that completely. So I'm just going to go down to the bottom here, make sure my print resolution's on. Print sharpening, I'm just going to put a little bit of print sharpening in here. Now I'm going to select Manage by Printer because I'm going to be using the printer's own black and white mode to print this picture. So now I'm just going to select Printer and then I'm going to just go down, make sure my colour matching is on Canon Colour Controls. My media is going to be Heavyweight Fine Art and I'm going to put Black and White Photo Print and I'm just going to put my quality up to high. So make sure that's all ticked and there we are. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click print, but there's a little trick we need to do just before we click print. So we'll go from there. Okay, so before we click print in the printer, what we need to do is we need to cut off our 1.2 meter length of paper off of this roll. Now I'm going to cut off actually 1.4 just because I want a little bit extra on that trailing edges it comes through the printer so it prints correctly and then we can always trim down. So I'm just going to start by loading this into the printer then once I've cut the length off and then hopefully we can see our print. Okay let me just cut this off and then we'll get this in the printer. Okay so the little trick I like to do is to open the feed slot just here. Now if we carry on printing, it will come up with an error on the front when we do this. And then we'll just put a little bit of paper, just a little bit, into the little sensor, which is just on the left hand side here. And now it will print with that feed slot open and it just makes feeding the paper a lot easier. And then what we need to do is just load the paper. So we're just going to steady this as it goes in. So I'm just going to put the paper in like this. And then what we're going to do, just let that go. So we're just going to help it in a little bit as well. So hopefully it will just start in a minute. So it's just gone in now. And then with this feed slot open, we can just have access to the paper. So it's a lot easier and works a lot better. So now hopefully this one should print. Okay, so we've just printed it through. As you can see, it's a little bit fiddly sometimes to load that paper in, but hopefully we've got it in there now and it's all printed through for us. And here is the print. Now, as I said, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit um, unusual, should we say, because it's just quite long and thin. However, as a bit of contemporary photography, perhaps it might be a nice way to present some work possibly be lovely framed. But all I've done at the bottom is I've just trimmed off that little bit of excess as well, just to get that print for you. But I'll show you some big pictures of it as well. It's printed really quite nicely. Lightroom's done a nice job of enlargement as well and that interpolation. It's not too bad, but I would say we need to view this at least from a meter away. But I'm really quite happy with it. It's nice kind of different take on that picture should we say. I hope you've enjoyed that video. Like I said, this is something Canon have introduced probably about 18 months ago to their printers to kind of almost, they say it's delimited the driver, but it's not really, it's lengthened the driver so we can print up to 1.2 meters in length and up to that 17 inch width. Now I know I'm mixing Imperial and Metric, but that's kind of the, the figures of what they give us, which is a bit odd. Now, have a play with it. We'd sell 13 inch rolls 
and 17 inch rolls. The reason why I've done it on a 12 inch roll today is because I think we had some left over, but we do do 13 inch rolls and the 17 inch roll as well. So if we do it from 17 inch, it'll be perfect at one to three as well. So it really gives some great options to how to use your printer. And you can do this on the Pro 300 as well. So please have a go. I'd love to see some of your panoramics coming off of here as well. So we're not just limited to our um, A4 width in our panoramic pack, our, our 210 millimeter width. We can now print a lot wider and a lot longer. The only trouble I find with it is we just need that wall space to be able to put them up. So hope you've enjoyed that video. As always, please don't forget to subscribe and please use that discount voucher FS YouTube 15 to get 15% off Photospeed papers on the Photospeed website, photospeed.com. Okay, until next time, bye-bye.